demonstrate taking a, a, a water sample at a, a surface water canal, irrigation canal. Um, first thing I do when I get to site, well, I've already been to the site, done some reconnaissance uh, for a safe place to actually sample. Um, the, but the first thing I do is I glove up. I've already, I've got my bottle that I'm going to use. I've already marked my field sheet with the location, uh, site identifiers, and various things. Uh, the bottle is a, uh, is a, a sterilized bottle. Your labs will give you one or you'll have one that you can sterilize yourself, um, however that occurs. Um, the label is important because it identifies the sample all the way through the chain from you to the lab. Um, the first thing I do is, well, in these type of canal situations, you don't want to necessarily lean into the canal because you might end up in the canal. So to safely take a sample in this canal, I use a, a, sample, um, a sample grabber, or what we call it, or a, uh, a sampling pole. I fix the bottle to the pole. Now I know it's on there because I got a little dent there. It's not going to move. It's not going to move because of the swift moving water. I'll uh, take the cap off and secure it. You don't want to cross contaminate the cap because if you put it on there, it goes right into your sample. So if there's dirt in the canal, dirt where you laid this cap, you want to just keep it with you. It's the best rule of thumb and keep it secure and upright. How we typically sample is we like neck down first. That means the opening of the bottle is uh, open, opened and face down. That's to keep all the surface debris you can see floating by out of your sample. So you'll, you'll hit as, to the middle of the canal or as far as you can reach into the canal. You'll take the sample and in an arc, an arc motion, you take the sample, run through, fill it up. Now you'll wanna, that's a little full for us. So we'll take out a little bit of water for headspace, the lab needs it to homogenize a sample, that's to shake it up and to, to make things much better. So that's good headspace there for your lab, right to the, to, the, uh, to the shoulder of the bottle. Make sure you secure the cap tightly, take it off, not over the canal, take it off and put it in your cooler. Now it should go upright in your cooler like this with ice around the sample and uh, so that it won't fall over. You don't want to fall in over sample when you get to the lab because ice melts in a cooler and it could get into the cap.